Good morning! Welcome back to another episode. My name is Shane, and I run my own retro video game store and do a video vlog every single day. Some of you are, you know, you're from other countries, other places in the world instead of the United States. And, and I understand you guys want to buy my games. Well, we are going to slowly implement new countries into the shipping process. So there should be rates now available. Also, no one told me at all that my rates were ridiculous. And that's because there was a missing weight um, section in my shipping section of Ship Shopify. Actually, I was going from like 10 bucks to 30. And I was like, whoa. But now we have calculated rates based on UPS, USPS, and um, DHL, if you really use them. Uh, most international people like to use DHL. It's a little bit cheaper, but now we have rates for Canada and I believe the UK now. So if you are from those countries, guys, maxlevelvideogames.com, link in the description down below. Let's get going with the day. did get an online order from Chris. Chris, thank you very much. I appreciate the uh, support. And Chris picked up Yoshi, Mario Duck Hunt, and Birthday Blowout. At this price, he hit me up. I just added it into inventory. I actually had this lower than the original one with the other box um, that I had in the glass case. Um, this was 80 bucks and he ended up picking that up. So thank you, Chris, I appreciate it. I'm gonna get this shipped out to you right now. So tweaking the rates on shipping on the website. So right now it has only priority. If for some odd reason, it, it's not calculating like first overnight or first uh, class packages for some odd reason on the website, even though it's below that pound, it should be only six ounces for most video games. So I'm trying to figure out why it's not working. I was having some issues on Shopify when it comes to shipping for some odd reason on the website it was not showing, let's see if I add this to cart really quick, go to checkout, put my old information, check out. So right here on shipping, it was not showing first class packages, which is the ship, uh, the easiest and cheapest way to ship, um, USPS in the States. Um, I, I previously had rates auto set to it so you guys can pick it, but I'm trying to get through and adjust them and change them accordingly and have, um, based on the weight of the package, what your options are to, to ship them if you wanted to do shipping. And I was having so much trouble trying to find first class. It would not pop it up. It would only do priority, even though it was definitely only six ounces here and, and I couldn't figure it out until I went to saved packages and I had a long list of saved packages from different size boxes and everything that I've used. And then I realized someone on a Reddit forum was actually talking about this and state that if your package sizes are all wonky and not correct, then it won't know exactly what package size to use because of that it actually won't calculate the shipping properly so that is exactly what i had to change to make it pop up again which is fantastic because i didn't know that wasn't there systems and the larger things definitely should be working properly and have better rates now with ups so definitely take a look now and you know, sometimes maybe if the shipping was a little off or was a little too much for you, take a look now. Hopefully it's a little bit better. Let me know in the comments below if the shipping is now reasonable. I uh, needed new business cards and this is the first time I normally don't go to FedEx office here in town, my old work. I decided to go through Vistaprint and then I realized in Vistaprint, it is, um, it has everything. It has everything in a decent price. Everything I, I kind of want like even floor decals and stickers so there might be some new things coming i'm gonna see maybe get a shirt or something I'm, I'm gonna take a look and see what's available but i'm gonna also price things out and see what other customers and 
and, and other potential businesses that want my business. Uh, we got a couple sales were pretty good. Like I think uh, one of my switches are gone, the switch lights and an NES. And then someone brought in, not, I would say games, game related stuff and some 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 figures. Um, let me show you. Starting on this side, we got um, a couple different shirts, different sizes. These are NES, Nintendo. These are mediums. And we got extra large, large. Uh, two larges, two mediums, and one extra large. Then we have these Punisher shirts. These are mediums and small. Then we have this cool um, Sega Genesis. Uh, what is the date on here? Uh, not sure if it has a date. We Sega branded. Then we got this Nintendo Any N64. This one's a large. And then we got a. Uh, zombie we got these desert batman little uh like die cast figures they're pretty heavy got two of those we have this uh lee if i'm not mistaken this is uh i might be wrong is it battlestar galactica um little like sandy this is cool. This is Sonic the Hedgehog 3 Happy Meal toy from the 1993 Steel and Seal. You got tails right there that spins. And then we have some keychains. We got Berserk, Godzilla, Iron Man. We got some Avengers, Batman. I believe this is Flout, if I'm not mistaken. And then we got some Dragon Ball Z can't for the life of me remember these guys' names. This uh, Hawkman DC Universe collection piece. These, this, this is really cool too. This is a Batman Grindfighter 2 gift set from the 1989s. It has a anti-chap lip protection wear. So a little watch that has uh, chapstick and then a soap on a rope. Look at that, look at that thing. And this is from 1989. Then we have a Q-Pop Batman like figure. We got Donkey Kong 64. We have um, Star Wars figure. Not in the best shape, but still cool. And then we have Rick Grimes, Walking Dead. We got Carl Grimes. And then we got the Dixon brothers before, uh, you know, he died. Q-Figs, like these little Hulk Q-Figs. And then we got these guys. These are half scale endo skulls which are awesome looking i want to put one of these out those look cool it's not it's 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 kind of in the ballpark to start filling out some of this stuff maybe this rack over here today's gonna be a busy day i'm already getting calls a bunch of people are coming in for trades and want to take a look good i need it i need it i need today and tomorrow hopefully they're good days we got some trade-in stuff already so Let's, I gotta get this stuff in the system. We just got a switch complete dock system. We got the um, grip. We got a pro controller as well. And we got a game. And that game is Super Smash Brothers. Clean this up really quick, get in the glass case. Luckily we've had one of these before, so it's gonna be really quick and easy. Process through these and get some of this in inventory. My handle just broke, which is not cool at all. I don't even know how to fix it. That'd be it for me today, guys. Thank you for watching as always. I'll see you next time. Don't forget, take it day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute. Just gain a little experience. And please, don't forget to level up.